it really feels like you're taking a walk through the future. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of the future right here. For decades, this cavernous warehouse in Los Angeles is where Hollywood directors came when they needed to create the future. John zabrucki has been making film props for more than 40 years. The payload just comes out. His specialty, sci-fi films. The eyeball fabrication machine in Blade Runner, John Zabrucki made that. The psychokinetic energy meter in Ghostbusters, that's John again. Kirk Enterprise. And pretty much anything in the background of Star Trek. Yep, John. Walking around his modern props warehouse, everything looks vaguely familiar. This is from Robocop, who's probably the most famous thing that it's been in. Now playback. Bring it up 50%. Uh, can I sit in that? Yeah, you can. Yeah? yeah sure. Does it do anything? <laughs> That's not exactly what I was expecting. <laughs> You can actually go completely 360 degrees. We have to do that uh, today. Maybe not today. <laughs> Next door, there's even more. Remember these chairs from Men in Black? Let's get going. Agent S reporting for duty. John Zabrucki moved to Los Angeles in the early 70s. One day he happened to be on a film set and saw a prop break. Zabrucki told the producer he could make a better one. The rest is history. This is one of the oldest machines I have. Perhaps more than anyone else, his vision of the future has helped to shape our own ideas. But even he's sometimes surprised by which prompts become iconic. This has been in like every movie. It's been in uh, 200 productions. A YouTube fan lovingly dubbed it the most important device in the universe. Okay, so what is it? I think the guys call it the dual axis generator. But what does it do? What is it for? It just says this. What have you found? All I found is that these red lights keep moving back and forth. Aside from that, this thing seems to have no other function whatsoever. Zarbrucki survived almost half a century in Hollywood, and a lot has changed in that time. The rise of computer animation and special effects have made many old-fashioned props obsolete. Does it make you sad? I think there's a little bit of sadness to it, but um, I think that everything changes. So Rookie is retiring this month. He's auctioning off his props, but his hope is that a museum will take some of his more well-known pieces. He's not planning to keep much for himself. I'm not such a fan of the future anymore. After a lifetime of channeling the future, he's finally content to live in the present. For today, Sarah Harmon, NBC News, Los Angeles.